Hey guys, it's Bros Gaming John here, and today we have a little tutorial for you. Stick around and find out. Alrighty guys, so today we have the one and only Iron Golem Farm that works on all console and PC. All sorts of Minecraft, even on the iPad version, I'm pretty sure it works. I have not tried it myself, but I'm pretty sure it works. And here's how, how it is, pretty much. So, what you're going to need for this project, let me just get out of game mode. Alright, so what you're going to need for this project, doors, 36 doors to be exact, water, lava, si four signs, six chests, glass, half slabs, and your sort of building block, and four hoppers. And of course you're going to need villagers because how this works is it's a mock village and that's how the iron golem spawn. On this one you're going to have two levels of spawning so they can either spawn here or here. And I'm hoping that an iron golem will spawn to show you guys that it does work. Uh, there you need to have five villagers total and ten on each side and It works, so let's just see if we can sit here for a second and see if we can see an iron golem spawn Alrighty guys. Well, we are waiting for a iron golem to spawn. I figured I'd show you guys the uh, collection area down here that Collects all the iron so it makes it fully automatic. So all you got to do is stand in here and iron golems will fall down in here and get killed by the lava. Iron will go into the hoppers, collect down and go down to these chests. And as you can see, it is working. I'm just waiting for an iron golem to spawn so I can show you guys. So while we wait for an iron golem to spawn, we will just time lapse this. And I'll see you guys when an iron golem spawns. Oh, speak of the devil, we didn't even have to time lapse anything. He spawned up here, guys, and see how all the water comes down into the middle? That's exactly what you want. And then when you come down here, as you guys can remember, there were eight iron in this one, and I think three iron in this one, and now there's five in this one, and 11 in this one, and two extra poppies. Alrighty guys, so now the only way I'm going to be able to show you how to make this is I'm going to have to kill all these villagers and get all the doors because you cannot build these 120 blocks in between each other. So, the first thing you're going to do, and I have world edit, but uh, most of you guys aren't going to have world edit. Um, first thing you're going to do is dig out an 18 by 18 hole. So, one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. 18 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now let's just check this side one more time just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 by 18 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the hole really quick by just if you have world edit I know you won't have this on your survival world but if you're just making this for fun and just practicing making it you can go world edit and set slash set air and now you have a hole in the ground that it is 18 by 18 too deep by 18 by 18 Alright, so first thing, I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. First thing you're going to do is place three blocks down in the on the corners like this. Just like this. Any type of your building block, whatever you want, just set them down here. Hey, little rabbit. Don't you know tricks are for kids? Get out of here. Alright, anyway, since the rabbit just wanted to rudely interrupt... Now what you're going to do is take your buckets of water and you're going to go like this. If you're in a survival world, if you go here and I take two buckets of water, let me get another bucket of water real quick and then I'll go into survival mode. Alright, so if you're in survival mode, 
so you don't have to carry all those buckets in your inventory. What you're going to do is you're going to come up here and you're going to place a bucket here and a bucket on the third one. So two, three. This creates a source right here. So you can pick that source up and just keep going. Pick it up, keep going. Pick it up, keep going. And just keep picking up the source from the middle. But since we are in creative mode, I am going to just, so this can go along faster, I am just going to uh, pick up the water and put the water down with game mode so I can just get this done faster for you guys. So what you're going to do is put water all across there, all source blocks. All across all of the edges, but do not go past these blocks. Those three blocks need to stay like just like they are. Don't put any water on them yet. Just get this with. And as soon as you get all the water placed in, you'll see that down here, it leaves a little 4x4 four four area. And what you're going to do with this 4x4 four four area is dig down five blocks. So two, three, four, and this cave is ruining my video. That's all right. So you're going to dig down five blocks. One, two, three, four, and then this will be five. Hey, Mr. Creeper. You can get out of here now. Since I know that we're going to need more room down here, I'm just going to go ahead and make that for you guys. Let's see if I can kill him with the wand. Oh, I can. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and make a little space down here for it since I know that's what we're going to go ahead and do anyways. So seeing how this is five blocks down, that's all you need to do is count one, two, three, four, five. And then what you're going to do is just leave this for now. And let me time set zero. All right, so now that you guys can see, now you're going to come back up here once you dug that hole down. And you're going to put a block of water on here, let it spread, and then break the three blocks. And do the same thing for all four sides. This way, when they spawn, they will just flow right down. There's no stoppage. Doesn't matter where you throw a block in here or mobs or anything. They'll always flow to the middle. All right, the next thing you're going to do, which I have world edit for, which you guys unfortunately probably do not, is we're going to build the walls. So when we build the walls, you're going to come right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to build here from the outside. You're going to build a wall on this side. And it's going to be th three high. So let's build a three high wall. And you guys just know how to fill that in. It'll just, it'll end up looking like this when you are finished. And you need to do this for both sides over here. So I'm just going to do the same thing over here and set there and set there and then slash slash set stone you could make it whatever building block you want i'm just making it stone for right now all right so then you're going to take this and you're going to build this straight across to the other side directly across to the other side just like this and you're going to do the same thing for both sides Alrighty, and here is where it gets really, really simple. You're going to take those doors that you had, and you're just going to take all of them. And since I'm in game mode, they're not going to go down, but you're just going to take doors and align them all across here. All across both sides that you just did the top on. And then we'll do this side. Alrighty, now once you have that built, you are going to start, so you count here, here's the water block, here's the door. So right here, 
the second block on your wall. You're going to start and you're going to put a block there and you're just going to build a platform all the way across here. So it will end up looking like this. You are going to just need to build the platform up here and you're going to want to make sure that you cut out the four blocks in the middle. So what I like to do is if I'm in game mode, I'll just go down there and I'll just fly up and I'll just crack the four that I know that line up with this hole. That way, you're going to build a second spawning platform up here. And if you are in survival mode, you're going to want to half slab all of these walls. So every single one of these it has to be half slab. Just so mobs don't spawn on it because you don't want these mobs going around killing the villagers that you're going to have eventually inside the holding tanks is what I like to call them. I know that sounds terrible. They're like, I guess they're like fake humans. And I know I'm terrible at building, guys. Don't worry. That's why I like to use World Edit. It's a lot faster. So if you guys like this tutorial, please leave a like down below and subscribe and just tell me, give me any other tutorials that you would like me to do for you guys. I'll find something and I will do it for you. Maybe next I'll do an XP grinder that works on all forms of Minecraft. Alright, so now the same thing you did with the bottom, you're going to do with the top. I'm just going to world edit it. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it for you guys. You put three blocks around on each side, just like you did on the bottom. And you're going to line the walls with water. And you're going to want them all to be source blocks. And we are almost complete. Got one more side to go. You just put that there. And as you guys can see, it flows in the hole. You're going to do the same thing with this. Don't worry, it's not going to go over the half slabs as long as you put them there first. And you're just going to do just like you did on the bottom, break the blocks after you're done placing the water. Once you have placed all of the water, you are now finished with both of the layers. That is it. That is all you have to do. So now here is, comes the fun creative part. What you're going to do is go down there. And we're not finished yet. We still have to put the villager pods in. But what I like to do is build straight under the villager pod. Is I like to... Let's see. I'm going to block this up. Because that's not the way I want to go. I want to go towards the villager pod. And I know the villager pod is going to be there. Because I put the doors on this side. The pods are going to be on the opposite sides of the doors. So if I want to have the tunnel going this way. I'm just going to come down here. And I'm going to dig out a tunnel just going this way. I'm going to fill in the floor as I go, just so. And you're going to want to build this tunnel pretty far back, at least until you get clear of your complete entire iron golem farm. And I will dig this out now. And what you're going to do is just staircase up just like you would. I don't like to hit my head, so I just break extra blocks so I don't hit my head. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And it seems like we're getting pretty close to the top here. And there's the top. So now you have your little spawning area. What I like to do is I actually like to uh, spread it out. So you know that your chests are going to be right here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to place down a chest right here and then uh, come back behind it. I like to break three on each side. Three on each side of the chest. So I'll go three out just like this on each side. I'm going to go back here and once you get back here you're going to go here and you're going to place the hoppers down just like this. Uh, you're going to make sure that this hopper is facing into this hopper. If it's not facing into that hopper, it will not go into the chest. And all you're going to do is you're going to shift click and you're going to click and you're going to place it and that should fix it to where it's aiming into there along with that into the chest. 
Alrighty, and once you got that, I like to build up. I don't like, um, I'm pretty claustrophobic. Not really, but I feel claustrophobic, so when the walls are two down, so I always like to build it three high. Most of my rooms in Minecraft are three high. And what I like to do is I just like to bring it back just a little bit. Wherever you feel like you have to bring it back to, go ahead and bring it back to there. All this is going to be up to you guys. It's uh, just preference, I mean. And then, so next what you're going to want to do, once you break all this out, let's see, we're almost done here, is what I like to do is come in this room, and I like to go down in this hallway, I like to break one down, and then I just break the flooring out. This way you can have more storage for your iron, you can put a second row of chests down here but the thing is is that you need a trap chest which is really easy to make all you need is a, a tripwire and a chest and it just works perfectly fine just like that so what you're going to do is take your regular chest and put it right in front like this and you're going to take your trap chest and put it right next to it then you're going to go behind it and you're going to take your hoppers and crouch and put it in one on that side of the chest and then put this one on the other side of the chest. That way these go into the chest and they split up. Next thing you're going to do is place your signs and lava in. So what you're going to do is place a sign here. Doesn't really have to say anything. I just like it to be there. Well, I don't like it to be there. I, I normally don't put anything on the signs, I guess. I don't know. That was a little bit of a mess up. So once you get that, you can take your lava and your glass and if you're in survival you can put one bucket of lava down and it'll still work just fine but just like that see how it spreads it'll be perfectly fine just for that and i like to take my glass and i like to put a little thing here so they can't escape well they can't escape anyways because it's a two size hole and they're three high mobs they won't be able to escape but you'll be able to see them burning and getting trapped in there Alrighty, and then after I'm done with this, I like to, well first I guess I'm going to cover up all the holes in my floor. Um, I like to half slab all this, uh, just for appeals, it looks nicer, and it also makes the chest look like they're in the floor. And it also keeps mobs from spawning down here with you, which I'm going to put torches down here, but you guys can put whatever you want. Like I said, the design of your room is free reign. Once you have all this structure built. Alright, and since we have that, let's just grab a couple of torches. Let's grab a torch, I guess. And we can dump the chest. We're done with them. And let's just put torches along the wall here. And then you're also going to want to put torches in here as well. And once you do that, doesn't really matter where you put the torches. I'm going to time set day real quick. Time set zero, which is day. And your bottom part is now done. Now, if anything spawns in here, then it's going to work. On this one, I built a block here, but you don't have to do that. Technically, you could build a block here, which is what I'm going to do in this structure. All right, so first what you're going to do is take it and you're going to build a two high wall. For some reason, an iron golem spawned over there because the doors. Um, don't worry, they won't spawn outside of it normally. They only spawned over here because they think a village is over here. So they're trying to protect all these doors. Um, but it will not work if you do not do it properly. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to build up two blocks and you're going to put a half slab right here. This is where your villagers are going to be located. These are going to be your villager pods, everything for your villagers. So you're going to take this, dig one out. That way nothing can spawn in here. What you're going to do is you're going to put half slabs down. And this is where your villagers are going to be. Once you have all your half slabs down, you can go ahead and put the other side on the wall and build a wall from here all the way over to here. And you're going to just do the same thing on the other side. And 
I'm going to set it to stone. And what you also have to do is you have to make sure that you put half slabs on the top of here. That way, mobs do not spawn on your villagers. And just for an additive protection, if you have the extra glass and resources, you don't really need to do this. But I like to take glass right here and I like to put glass all across the top of this right here. So from here all the way over to here we're gonna put glass just like that and now you're just gonna do the same thing on the other side Ooh. again you're gonna build up two blocks from the outside put a half slab on top you're gonna dig out the middle all the way to the last block build up to and then again you're gonna build that wall on the outside and then you're gonna put hash slabs on the top just like you did before and just to make it symmetrical I'm gonna put glass on this side as well again you do not have to put the glass I just like to put it for an additive measure just in case Plus it kind of looks better, at least to me. Kind of looks like the glass is just barely peeking out there. Alrighty, and once you got that, all you need to do is, if you're in survival, you need to find a village and go in and place some villagers. But right now, before I place the other villagers, I'm gonna go ahead and break this one and break all the doors on it because I do not want it to think that this is a village because that will happen and iron golems will start spawning outside of your reach or not reach but like flow where your water goes so you're going to want to do that and instead of I'm just going to suffocate all these villagers I guess I guess that's kind of a terrible thing to do but they're just villagers. It'll be alright. Set stone. And those are all dying, as you guys can hear. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just kill all the villagers real quick. You guys aren't going to have to do this part, but... And all those villagers should be dead. Or dying and so once you get this what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to get five villagers in each side so one two three four five and then you're gonna want to set this to glass again and then you're gonna put five on this side three four five again you won't be able to do this in survival mode but it works just the same let's uh, kill this iron golem I guess I should just take a diamond sword out and kill him, right? I guess I'm in game mode. Oh, come on, die. There we go. And as you guys can see, they drop iron and poppies when they die. Alrighty, so now this one should be fully functional. We had the five villagers on each side. And we have our little collection pit, and now we will just wait to make sure it works. No end then. I, I, that's, that's all I want. That way I can show you guys that it does work, even though you guys did see it on the other side. And we will just wait until we see a iron golem spawn down here. Oh wait, you know what? Did I break the doors on the other side? thought I did just to make sure I'll check to make sure that's not functional at all got the doors here and now we just sit and wait just sit and wait I will be back with you guys when a iron golem spawns alrighty guys as you guys can see an iron golem spawned right up there it flows right down here and it dies 
And we'll wait for it to die. And it died, and as you guys can... They drop ink sacks? I didn't know that. Hmm. I wonder where that ink sack came from. Maybe they can start to piss me off, lady. And then... <laughs> I'm gonna come in there, and I'm gonna put my foot in your if you say and then again! Who knows, but there you guys have it. You guys have an iron golem farm you guys can use on any sort of Minecraft console, PC, iPad version. And please leave a like, comment down below, tell me what I should do next for XP farm maybe, who knows. 